So I recently built a Hackintosh, but I could not find a good functional keyboard that wasn't too expensive until today. I just got it delivered and I wanted to share with you why I love this keyboard. So stay with me, Sensei will show you the way. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Everyday Sensei. Now this is my first YouTube video ever. And I didn't want it to be a product review, but I just got this keyboard and I, I love it and I just wanted to share that with you. So come over to my video editing equipment and let's take a look. Hey, so this is my video editing rig. As you can see, it is a Hackintosh. I initially considered buying an iMac 27 inch, which I've owned before, but the problem that I've had with those machines are always they get so hot. The old iMac 27 that I own, the GPU failed twice. So it is just not going to be a good solution for me. I looked at Hackintosh, um, how to build it online, bought the necessary parts. This is running AMD RX 580, 8 gigs of RAM. And then the CPU is i7-8700K Intel uh, with 32 gigs of RAM and about 3 terabyte worth of storage data. So it's been serving me really well. The only problem that I had is finding just the right keyboard. And so that's why we're here today. Here's the keyboard that I bought from Sataki. I guess that's some brand from China, I'm assuming. Um, the body is made super well. It's made of aluminum, really nice heft to it. The keys feel awesome. I really like these keys. They feel better than the uh, MacBook, older MacBook that I use, older MacBook Pros that I owned. The new MacBook Pro keyboards, uh, they drive me nuts. Uh, I like the sound of them, but I mistype on them all the time. And um, I really like this one. Now I've owned other keyboards like the, you know, the iMac keyboard or the, in this case, I bought this for the Mac Mini. Um, and they are okay, except these are not cheap. And also, they run out of battery really quickly. So, I always have a recharged, rechargeable batteries on hand just in case. I've bought other keyboards like this one, which is really like the Apple Magic keyboard, but not. Uh, much cheaper. And also, it comes with a little USB rechargeable port, which I liked. The only problem is the keys, and they feel terrible. They're so cheap. Um, I used them for a while, but now that I got this new keyboard, I don't need them anymore. Let me know if you want it. So anyway, going back to this awesome keyboard, um, I love that all the function keys work right out of the box. Um, the volume controls, the music controls, the reveal, uh, the search. Only thing that doesn't work is the uh, brightness control, and that's because I have a Hackintosh and my monitor is just a third-party LG monitor. So it's not on integrated like the Apple product. But it's okay, I don't need that that much. I love the extra uh, number pad over here, which serves me really well. So this is a really solid product, guys. The only downside might be that it is a USB connection right here. Uh, it is 2019 and it's not a wireless. I was like, come on. But it is $60. Now it's not super cheap, but for sixty dollars you're getting a I think a pretty good pretty good value here. I've seen some other keyboards online for well over a hundred dollars, um, so I think this is a good deal. If you're in the market searching for a specific keyboard for your Hackintosh or even for your own iMac, I think this is a really good value. Hey, so I know this video was one off because what I really wanted to focus on was doing different DIY projects. Um, I'm a programmer by trade, so I can definitely program, but I thought that would bore a lot of people. Uh, but if your children want to know or something like that, I, I tutor kids as well, so let me know and I can do that kind of videos too. But let me know in the comments box below what you'd like to see, if this is even helpful. Like I said, I'm just kind of figuring this out as I go. 
So let me know. So thank you for watching and see you again soon. Bye.